Today I am sharing what I cooked my family of five for dinner this week. So we are starting out with buffalo chicken quesadillas. So the whole inspiration for this meal was that I had some branch dip in my fridge I wanted to get used up. So I've got some chicken breast here I'm just throwing in my crock pot. It was still partially frozen. Um, I'm just going to season with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And then I did throw a little bit of chicken broth in the bottom just to kind of help it along. And then I'm going to add some buffalo sauce on top. This is just the mild from Great Value. This has really great flavor and it's not too spicy. My kids love this. And of course, I'm putting some water in the bottom of the bottle to make sure that I get everything out. I'm going to top it with this ranch dip. And then I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of sour cream on top just because I had it on hand. And I think that the sour cream gives it a good flavor. We're gonna cook this on low for about five to six hours or until the chicken is cooked through. After those five to six hours, I'm going to remove the chicken to a separate bowl. And then I always use my hand mixer to shred up my chicken. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take some of the juice and just put it in the chicken because it was looking just a little bit dry after I shredded it up. And then this is gonna be our filling for our quesadillas. I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling our quesadillas. So I actually did not have shredded cheese on hand this night. So I'm just using some sliced American cheese. I'm putting half on one side, half on the other, and then I'm gonna put a generous portion of the chicken on the tortillas. And I did grease my pan before I started this, and I'm just gonna flip it over like a little taco and toast it on both sides. And I'm just gonna do this until I have enough quesadillas for my whole family. Here is what it looks like when it all came together. We served this with some broccoli, and then I also made a sour cream and salsa dip on the side, and also some ranch. This next night, I am just making some classic spaghetti. So whenever I got my groceries, I went ahead and cooked up my ground beef, and then I just threw it in the freezer until I was ready to use it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a pan and get it heated through with a can of pasta sauce while my noodles are boiling. To go along with this, I'm also making some garlic bread. I love using my air fryer for garlic bread, mainly because it doesn't take as long as it would in the oven, but also my oven has been broken, so I've not been able to use it, but we are making it work just fine using my air fryer for everything that I can use it for. Plus it's summertime, so you don't have to heat up your kitchen when you're using your air fryer. So to go along with this as well, I had some mandarin oranges that needed to be used up, so I'm just peeling some oranges and we're gonna make just like a little fruit salad. I'm gonna add some whipped cream to it and we'll have this on the side of our dinner. Because I have small kids, I have a two-year-old, a six-year-old, and a nine-year-old. 
It's just easier for me to use rigatoni or some sort of other pasta besides spaghetti noodles when we have spaghetti. So I'm just boiling the noodles in this pot here and then taking my garlic bread out and putting another batch in the air fryer. Unfortunately, I can only fit four pieces in at a time, so I do have to do it in two batches, but it's still faster than the other. I just strained my pasta and then I added my sauce over to the pasta. Everyone knows how to make spaghetti. And then I'm gonna go ahead and serve up our plates. We had the orange salad, garlic bread, and then also some cottage cheese on the side for some extra protein. I like having cottage cheese when I need just something extra, so. Next, we are making just some classic tacos. So I've got my taco shells. I'm gonna heat these up in the air fryer. I think I cooked these on about 350 for literally five minutes. They don't take long at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my ground beef. So like I said earlier, I did cook up ground beef with my grocery order, but I didn't think that I had enough beef for tacos because my husband does like to eat tacos and he uses a lot of meat when we do make it. So I went ahead and stopped at the grocery store and I got just another pound of ground beef. So I'm just cooking that up, seasoning with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, just kind of my classic seasonings. And then when I get tacos, I always get the taco kit. So it comes with taco sauce and I never really know what to do with it. So I just added it to this mixture. And then over on the side, I'm gonna add my taco meat that I had in the freezer and I'll just kind of mix this together and then that will be our taco meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my plate. So I've got two hard tacos, two soft tacos, and I like to put my lettuce on the bottom so that my ground beef doesn't soak through the shells and it can kind of just like sit on the lettuce. Um, so that's how I do that. But I like to dress mine with lettuce, cheese, salsa, and sour cream, and this is delicious. My kids love taco night, so does my husband. It's just like a classic American meal, I would say, but we got burned out quite some time ago and so we haven't had just like classic tacos in a long time so this was a nice little switch up So it is Wednesday, so we are doing leftover night. So I just heated up the spaghetti that we had the other night. And then, so the kids are having some spaghetti with leftover garlic bread. 
Liam wanted some of the orange salad that I made, so spaghetti and garlic bread. I'm gonna have some overnight oats that I made earlier this week. And then Riley's having a little cheese quesadilla since she's not having garlic bread, some spaghetti, and then also some of the orange salad. My husband doesn't get home till like seven, so when he gets home, I will make him some tacos with the rest of these tortillas. I've got two small ones and one burrito size, so that will be enough for him. So yeah, left overnight. We just kind of figure out what we need to eat up and that is what we do. On Thursday night, I went out to Mexican with my friends, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's What's For Dinner. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, see you in my next one. Bye.